one of the things that's happened in the last couple of years is that we noticed in the interface between the heart and the brain um, that not just depression can be a bad thing to have for heart disease, but also anxiety. We have noticed that patients that have a lot of anxiety uh, over the long term, uh, they can make uh, their heart disease uh, more pronounced or can make their heart disease uh, more difficult to manage. One example are patients that have arrhythmias, which are disturbances of the heart. And surely, by noticing that you have the arrhythmias, you become more sensitized and you become more anxious. But then that anxiety can also precipitate some of the arrhythmias. And so it becomes this vicious cycle. And so one of the messages that we're encouraging a lot of our patients that we're seeing here in the clinics is to talk about that. If there are high anxiety levels, to have that addressed. The good news is that some of the common treatments that we use for treating anxiety, which can be relaxation techniques, certain forms of short-term therapy, uh, can be very effective in decreasing the anxiety. And we think it's going to be of much help with patients with cardiac disease who experience these symptoms.